Hi there, welcome Life Path 5. Welcome to my channel, Soothe and Ascension Spiritual Awakening Journey. This is Stacy, your spiritual guide and mentor. So if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like and follow for your monthly Life Path readings, as well as other spiritual awakening videos to help guide you along your path. So if you are interested in a book and a reading with me, I will have that link in the description below. Keep in mind, I'm only uh, receiving and doing readings for this month. So after this month, I'm not really going to be doing readings anymore. I'm going to focus more on my online membership. So that would be how you would get guidance from me. So if you need some extra guidance this month, and this is the month to do so. So let's see what you guys got. You have the Cinnabar Business. And we have... Lapis Louis Problems Resolve, Third Eye Chakra, love that. And Low Light, Family, Third Eye Chakra. So there's a lot of purple here in this reading. So what we are seeing, let's see if you guys could see a little more. We have Business Problems resolved, third eye and throat chakra, family, third eye and throat chakra. I'm um, third eye chakra. So there's a lot of third eye energy. Keep in mind, this is a universal month 11. It's a master number 11. It's a master healing month. This is the month to heal old wounds, old relationships. It's a very relationship um, oriented month as well. Great month for partnerships, great months for divine unions, great months for just being in alignment with self, balancing that yin and yang. So with you guys, you're being asked to balance your third eye chakra, balance that spiritual side of you with this month when it comes to going within to resolve your problems. Because you guys are very, very quick moving because of that five energy, constant changes. If you guys have seen a lot of five, five, fives, that's because it is telling you that you guys are rapidly changing at this point especially since you're a life path five, you just want to do it a lot more cleaner and, and, and with more, they say, I mean, you guys are saying with more that special intuition, that special psychic and all knowing touch on it. You guys make a lot of plans and then you start to self doubt yourself, which is where the problems come in. You got the business um, card out first because this month is going to be heavily focused on your business. And from what I'm sensing, business is doing great. Whatever wasn't resolved last month, I'm not going to lie, it seems like you guys have had some money struggles. This is what I'm sensing. But what you are not seeing is that these are about to resolve itself within this month hardcore, as long as you stay the course of knowing exactly what you want, what you don't want, and how to achieve it. So it's going to be very important for you to not get in your head and start thinking that things aren't working. They're working in your favor. How you know these are working in your favor is those signs you keep seeing. You keep seeing those five, five, fives that's letting you to keep on that train. Also, it's a direct confirmation with your path because you are a life path five. So if you're seeing those fives or you may be seeing your birthday, some of you may actually start seeing the last day of your social. That's not to get it in your head. That's just to know that that is you being in alignment. This is how God speaks to you and gets your attention because when you see something like that, you're like, whoa, but it's just a heads up. Realize how you're feeling in that moment when it happens because you guys are going to get a lot of spiritual downloads this month with all these third eye chakra cards that you guys have. You may want to pick up any one of these to help you this month. You want to help open up that third eye chakra and see what really is going on? That is what the card you're going to want to uh, pick up for this month. Your business is coming into alignment. Things are starting to flourish. Things are starting to work. So do not think that they are not going the way they are supposed to do. So a lot of your problems are going to be resolved. And a lot of you may be having some family issues. I notice how there, this is on the 20th and to the 24th. So whatever may come up along the 20th, if there's some kind of family troubles or something that you're not seeing clearly within your family dynamic, it will resolve itself as long as you stay centered and grounded. Because next to it on the 24th, we have problems resolved. So 
and it's a third eye in, in your throat chakra. So it's letting you know that whatever it is that comes along up with your family, because I'm sensing something will come up with the family, speak. It's important for you to speak your truth. If you're not happy, speak it. Let them know what it is that's going on, what you don't like, and what you're not going to accept anymore. It's uh, time for you to set boundaries within your family unit and sense that a lot. Some of them don't support the businesses that you guys are endeavoring. And it is important that you're, uh, you know that no matter what, it is your life. It's your intuition. If you're feeling guided and you know this is your path, you're seeing those vibes, you have a connection with your divine, this is exactly what you're supposed to do. No, they can't see your vision and plan because they have never done it before. They haven't, they don't move in that way. They don't have that kind of alignment. That's why you're here to do it first. So don't let other people take you off path telling you how to do things a certain way because that's how they know. They only know the nine to five realm. They only know the matrix and working hard and stressing yourself out. If you have a business plan and you have a business idea, this is a month for you to really go deep into it because it's starting to flourish. Those seeds you planted are starting to grow. It doesn't matter what the rest of the people think. It's only what you and this is between you and God. You know what you're doing. And God wants you to fulfill your plan. So do not be discouraged. So whenever any, if anything comes up with the family, just don't forget to speak your truth, guys. Let me go look at the tarot and see what else is going on a little bit more. Let's see what's going on more with their money. What is going on with life past five's money this month? What is their career? What else do they need to see? Because I see it's a big theme for you this month. We have King of Wands. Yes, guys. Yes. Some of you are actors or a very, very passionate work. See, again, we have this five of wands. So it's going to be very important, like I said, for you guys to battle for your, not battle. I don't want you guys to go to battle. You're not going to battle, but you're going to have to defend your position. And the only way for you to defend your position and defend what you're doing in life is to speak. And no, you don't have to defend or to speak to anyone. But if you're in a close vicinity and you're in family units and friends and they're not understanding you and you're not speaking up for yourself to let them know what is going on with you that you don't care, this is the my thing going to do it. You're going to do it. You're going to be challenged in order to rise. And look at that. We have one of your totems right here as the lizard, like a gecko. So look out for that this month. Whenever you see a lizard, it is a strong sign of protection. It is there to protect you. You can embrace the lizard energy. And um, the, look at that. I got the higher for this. It's beautiful. You can embrace lizard, lizard, um, Lizard, lizard medicine, as it would say, is a very powerful totem. So if you live out in Florida or something, then obviously you see them all the time. But you know when you're making a, a, a direct connection with them. If you live in an area where you don't normally see them and they pop up for you, you know that spirit is talking to you. Spirit is always speaking to you. Nature is always speaking to you. That is why it's very, very important for when you ask for a answer from the universe, from God, to look around and notice what comes up because your answer is always coming. Nature plays with us. Animals plays with us. Birds shows up at the right time. You're going through a transformation. You see crows all the time. These are all along your path. We're all connected, and they show up at the right time to deliver that divine message for you. So your divine message is you're all protected. You're very protected, and nothing can come into your bubble to mess up your alignment and your flow this month. So make sure you know that anything that you might go through as far as because money is still good. We asked about money. We asked about money. Money is great. You have a king of wands, which means you're in your power. You are, you, you're, you are maneuvering. You are steady on your pursuits, and you are the king of it. This is a very attractive, powerful energy. You know what you want. You're passionate, and no one's going to stop you. So you tell whoever needs to be told, I am doing this, and not only am I doing this, I am seeing fruits of my labor. It is starting to fruition. I'm starting to get abundance. Abundance are coming in for you guys this month. And especially if you're in a, a spiritual field, because you got the higher friend here. If you guys are in a spiritual field and you're doing a spiritual, if you're a spiritual life coach or reader, whatever you are, this is leveling up because you're going to take strong action towards it. You're going to take a strong spiritual constructed angle on it. You need to very much tap into your religious part of you, your spiritual part of you. Tap it into it. 
and be firm within it. So if someone asks you, what makes you think you could accomplish this? What makes you think? Because God told me, because I am in an alignment and I know what I'm doing and I have the strong force to do it. That's Hierophant energy right there. And look at you have all, this is, these are things you've been dreaming about. Look at all, look at all these dogs in the dreams. I love dog energy. It's very loyal as well. You're loyal to your dreams this month. It's there. You've been dreaming about it. What you don't see is that it's so close. Some of you are going to partner with a significant spiritual other because I see that these are two dogs that are kind of looking at each other. And as they are looking and pursuing what they're supposed to do, they're going to run right into each other. This is a very spiritual, divine union. So some of you got some kind of spiritual counterpart out there that's going to come and help you within your business as well. And as you work towards your business, you guys just kind of like bump and run right into each other. It's destined. And we have the white purity. This just looks like, I don't know, we call it a white dove. We symbolize pure and harmony, pure love. Five by five, you guys are doing great. Don't let anyone or anything get in your way this month. Know what you're supposed to do and do it. So if you want to book a reading with me, like I said, to help you more out to maneuver this position in life, to let people really know what is going on, and a little bit more to stand in your power, then go ahead and book a reading with me. I do your numerology chart in full. You also get an email to you as well as in the reading. We'll go over and pull some cards to see what is going on to really pull it, pull it, uh, bring it into full alignment and let so God can let you know what you really need to see. A numerology reading is perfect for you when you are a little lost and you need a little bit more direction and you just need a little bit more that special kick to know where you're supposed to go. And it will let you know exactly where you are on your nine-year cycle as well. In life, we go through nine-year cycles. And in your numerology chart, it shows you exactly where you are on that cycle and as well as your pinnacles and everything else. So go ahead and book that reading if you really feel called to it. Other than that, like and subscribe and comment below. And have a wonderful April, Life Path Five. Ciao.